In the heart of the Midwest, nestled between rolling hills and meandering rivers, lay the quiet town of Willowbrook. It was a place where life flowed like the waters of the nearby river, predictable and serene. For generations, the townsfolk had lived in harmony with the ever-present river, relying on it for sustenance and tranquility. But all that changed one fateful summer when the river unleashed a malevolent force upon the town. Meet Emma Collins, a young woman who had spent her entire life in Willowbrook. She was a photographer, capturing the beauty of her town with her lens. Her connection to the town ran deep, her family having been part of its fabric for generations. But Emma's tranquil life would soon be shattered, as the river that had cradled Willowbrook for centuries turned into an ominous harbinger of doom. It began with an unusually heavy rain that persisted for days, filling the riverbanks to the brim. The townsfolk, initially unconcerned, watched as the river swelled. But as the rain showed no signs of relenting, unease settled over Willowbrook like a shroud. One night, as the storm reached its peak, a deafening roar filled the air. Emma awoke to a sight she could hardly comprehend. The river had become a monstrous wall of water, crashing through the town with an unrelenting fury. Panic erupted as the floodwaters surged through the streets, swallowing homes and lives in its path. Emma, clutching her camera, fought her way to the highest point in town, an ancient oak tree that had stood for centuries. There, she watched in horror as the town she had known her entire life was consumed by the relentless waters. People cried out for help, their voices drowned by the raging river. As dawn broke, the floodwaters began to recede, leaving behind a town that was unrecognizable. The once thriving community lay in ruins, and many of its residents were missing. Emma, numb with shock, couldn't comprehend the scale of the disaster. She knew she had to document the devastation, for the world needed to see the truth of what had befallen Willowbrook. Over the following days, Emma's camera captured haunting images of the town's destruction. But what disturbed her the most were the photographs she took of the river itself. In the turbulent waters, she saw faces, contorted in anguish and despair, as if the river itself had absorbed the souls of the missing townsfolk. Emma couldn't shake the feeling that the river held the key to the mystery of the disappearances. She began to research the town's history, uncovering legends and stories that hinted at a malevolent force lurking beneath the surface. It was said that Willowbrook had been founded on land sacred to the Native American tribes who once inhabited the region, and that the river held a dark secret. As Emma delved deeper into her investigation, she began to experience strange occurrences. Whispers echoed in her dreams, voices that beckoned her to the river's edge. She would wake in a cold sweat, her camera beside her, as if it had been placed there by an unseen hand. One moonless night, unable to resist the river's call any longer, Emma ventured to its banks. The waters were calm now, but a chilling presence hung in the air. She could feel eyes upon her, and the sensation of being watched sent shivers down her spine. Emma's camera began to click on its own, capturing images she couldn't see with her own eyes. Distorted figures appeared in the photographs, their forms shifting and contorting. As she watched the images develop, terror gripped her heart. These were the faces of the missing townsfolk, trapped within the river's depths. Desperation drove Emma to confront the river. She waded into its icy waters, the current pulling at her like invisible hands. The whispers grew louder, the voices of the lost souls pleading for release. Emma knew she had to find a way to set them free, to break the curse that bound them to the river. In her research, she had come across a ritual, an ancient incantation that was said to banish malevolent spirits from sacred land. With a heavy heart and trembling hands, she recited the incantation, her voice carrying over the still waters of the river. Suddenly, the river began to churn, its surface roiling with dark energy. The voices of the lost souls rose to a deafening crescendo. 
Emma's heart pounded as she continued the incantation, her determination unwavering. And then, as if the very earth had shifted, the river erupted in a violent explosion of water and light. The spirits of the missing townsfolk emerged, their forms twisted and contorted, but their eyes filled with gratitude. With a final, desperate plea, they dissolved into the night, their torment finally lifted. As the first light of dawn broke, Emma watched as the river returned to its serene state. The curse had been broken, and the town of Willowbrook could begin to heal. But as she turned to leave the riverbank, she felt a cold hand on her shoulder. She knew then that she could never truly escape the river's grasp. And so, the vanishing waters became a tragic tale of a town forever haunted by the malevolent force that had once threatened to consume it. Emma's sacrifice had saved Willowbrook, but she had become a part of the river's dark history, her fate forever entwined with the waters that had taken so much from her.